So that was what number? That was six. six. Okay, so my number five is Superman slash Captain Marvel. Um, and I couldn't really pick between the two of them because, like you said, they're so similar. It's like, but one of them is more superhuman and one of them is more mystical human. And it's just, I mean, I'm not going to go all again because you've already said that, but I have them as number five. Um, I personally think that he, he could be Hulk. Um, a lot of these characters, and let me say the reason I think the thing about Superman, he's one of those. He's definitely an A-lister, but he's one of those characters that he can beat characters more powerful than him because he has that just like that, like you know what you think of as like that indomitable like American spirit. You know, like he always comes out on top. Yeah, like Captain America. Like Captain America. America. Yeah, like Captain, Captain America. America. People that are way stronger than him. He's still. He's still there's something him. about him. He's got the heart. It's hard to explain. Like, but people in sports know it. You know, coaches. You know, like it's that thing. There's something. You, you shouldn't be the best player, but yet you are. You know, like you get you, you should not be the best player. If you, and like um, when I was reading the, the dossier from Nick Fury on Ultimate Alliance Two, it's basically what he said about Captain America is like if you just list his powers, he shouldn't be that big of a deal. But there's something about Steve Rogers his that mind. it's it, it was well, just him, his his personality. It's not just his mind. It's him, his heart, his everything that takes him up there. So like uh, way above characters who are more power. Superman has the same thing. He's got that just good old boy, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna come out on top kind of thing. So even though the Hulk could be powered up and like really angry, Superman's gonna still find a way to win. Very often this is or very uh not very often does Superman like end up like losing and it's generally it's the reason like, why I put in our Superman <laughs> below the Hulk at least on my list, is because... Or even above, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Below in power, but above. And yeah. Uh, because of the fact that when he beat Doomsday, which Doomsday is a very similar character to the Hulk. But I still think, we should do a debate on that sometime. I think Doomsday would whoop the Hulk. He, he just kept getting, like, he unleashed, and he beat it, and it was a draw, basically. They both killed each other. Only... Because the okay, whole would just though. keep getting stronger. That whole time that Superman had unleashed, he would still be getting stronger. Yeah, maybe, but at some point, the whole there has to be a cap at some point. You know what I mean? Like the Hulk can't always keep getting stronger because eventually his mass and his bone structure it just and eventually that gamma radiation would have to run out. I think eventually he'd burn himself out. You know what I mean? No, no. Granted, he probably wouldn't do it. He'd probably kill Superman before he did it, but like at yeah. some point, like I get tired of the whole Hulk, you know, always getting stronger. It's just physically yeah, it's impossible a cheat to not have any limits. Yeah, it's a cheat card, but it's like they haven't shown him to have a limit. That's the thing. Like they haven't shown him to have one, so it's like and Colossus they, and Thing have all beat the Hulk. So how is usually you know, they outsmart him though? Well, so you tell me that like Superman can't outsmart him? <laughs> but if they, they outsmart him after they already know who he is. That he exists and yeah, how well, he is the thing. Superman would just, oh, I've beaten this kind of a guy. Before. I mean, honestly, I personally, like, I, I said that Hulk wasn't higher because of his like mental state. What if he like tricked or come out? I personally think that Superman could talk him back into Bruce Banner. But he Superman's even, one of the few characters that could talk him. Yeah, back but into Superman Bruce wouldn't know that Bruce. No, Banner no, not intentionally. He would. I think he could. If he's like, wait, this guy doesn't really seem all that evil. By the way, he seems kind of dumb. They start dialogue. I think he could slow the Hulk down enough to start calming. But him when down. the Hulk is in Hulk Smash mode, it's not that he doesn't look all that evil. It's like he no, but the way he talks and stuff, you. like Superman, I think would have that empathy to pick up on it and be like, this guy, you know, like, and sense more of a gentle spirit in him. Because really, Hulk most of the time isn't bad. He's just like. He's like juvenile, and you did something to him. It's like a bee's yeah. just stung him, and he's running around going crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, or yeah, in case of the movie when uh, Hank Pym stung him. But you get the point. Like I don't know, but anyways, I just I think Superman came up on top. Um, but where were we? we? I said my five was Superman and Captain Marvel. Yeah, I was making the point that I think Superman could beat out like even Thor. Okay, well, even if Thor was more powerful, I still think that. Um, Superman has a good chance. Like I would, you know what I mean. Like I would be hard pressed not to vote on Superman just because of, you know, like someone who's more powerful than him. I still think he's gonna like come out on top, kind of thing. Maybe so. it's definitely something that nobody knows because nobody's really done it to the extent that it should have been. Yeah, like very well. The Marvel versus DCs were always a, a joke. joke. Yeah. It was like Superman was like, oh, this guy's really powerful. I, I, my only chance of beating him is if I take him out fast. 
and just like summoned all of his strength and like KO'd the Hulk. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this lifetime is the appropriate term, I think, there. But it was really corny. It was like early 90s, and I was a, like a kid, and I, even I remember being, really? That's how you're going to end it? I like, think the reason they did that is because Superman is an A-lister not only in power and stuff, but also in persona. Mm -hmm. And if he gets taken down by like a secondary character in the Marvel Universe, it's kind of like, I think that would be... Okay, so who's your number five? I'm trying to reload this before I get my to number, number five. Oh, the internet sucks as much here, babe, as it does in... Uh... My number five is Captain Adam. Captain Adam, okay. And the reason why is because he has the ability to explode himself in order to beat you. And, when and you're reform doing, eventually. Yeah, and reform. And so Yeah, but he also has the weakness so that if you tear his suit, he becomes unstable and can't explode. And... But they show, like, the metal they list is... I, I compare it to, like, adamantium or vibranium. Because I'm not no, sure it's a DC... So there's no way... It's not, because in anything. the Batman vs. Superman Public Enemies, they got torn in the battle, and that's what happened, is he, he, like, exploded. Like, they had to, like, get him, like, into space so it didn't hurt a lot of people or something. Um, really? So, I mean, it's not gonna, like, tear, like, easy, but it's not nearly as strong as that. Really? So, I don't know. Because, I mean, they do that again in Justice League Unlimited, so... So, I don't know, because... I mean, he, like, they show him go at it with Superman for a long time, and I think, like, I think that if it came down to, like, life and death, if it wasn't just stopping from stupid questions from being taken, I think if it was life and death, I think he would have, because, I mean, he's a soldier, I think he would have what it took to just, Yeah, that like, is an advantage, but at the same time, that can be a weakness, because sometimes he's very, like... He's, he's sort of impulsive, but I think... If it came down to, like, if I don't kill him, he's going to kill me, I think he would definitely do what it took to end the fight in a brutal way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And plus the fact that when you have a near limitless ceiling on your power, just like we were talking about the old, when you have at least an unknown ceiling on your power, that really creates a thing of, we don't know where it would it's stop. It's intimidating. Yeah, if, if nothing else... But that doesn't affect any of the Marvel characters. Yeah. It's intimidating, but, and plus, when it's a fireworks show type thing, and it's like blasts and blasts and blasts, that's definitely, even if you've never seen him before, or it's later in the tournament and you've heard stories about this guy, that's definitely something that you can, it would be difficult to contend with. Okay. I was kind of slow.